Good morning, GP Kids. It's Miss Pam. Hey, I hope you've had a great week, and I've been just enjoying outside weather. I don't know about you. Hopefully, you've been able to get out. I've seen some of you um, on your trampolines and riding your bikes through your neighborhoods, which is awesome. Uh, I was doing a little bit of walk around my house, and just this warmer weather is making me think of two things. First off, VBS because that is summer it means summer is coming so right now go ahead and have your parents if they haven't already go ahead and go to our website gracepoint.cc forward slash VBS and that's where you can register for VBS and also your parents can register to volunteer because we need lots and lots of volunteers so that's the first thing um, and I want to tell you right now, we have our theme song for you this morning. So, Randy, go ahead and put in the theme song and get up and enjoy some worship. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Awesome song. I cannot wait to sing that with you this summer at VBS. Uh, the second thing it makes me think about with all the sunshine and getting to be warmer outside, I was looking at our lilac bush. I'm going to show you right now. The lilac bush has got little uh, buds on it. It's starting to come back to life, which uh, makes me think of baptism, which is our um, lesson for today is all about baptism. Miss Meredith is going to share that with you in a moment. And it just makes me think it's wonderful how new things can come to life 
just like in baptism when you're baptized you go under the water and die to your sins and come back up raised to live a new life is what we say at grace point raised to live a new life in christ and so if you've got any uh, questions about baptism or taking communion we have put a resource on our website for you and your parents to just read over and look through and talk about uh, so i got i gotta encourage you to um, download that, look at it, and talk about it as a family. It's a great way to just introduce what baptism is, what communion is, and don't forget our baptism at the beach is coming up in August. So um, we'll, we'll would love to have you there if you want to. Uh, go ahead and talk to me, talk to your parents, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, hope you enjoy about Jesus's baptism. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Morning GP kids, it's Miss Meredith here. I'm here at Grace Point in our preschool story room. I'm ready to tell you our Bible story today. I miss all of you so much. I hope you're all having fun at home with your families. I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. Our story today is in the New Testament. Remember, we've moved on to the New Testament now. And our story is about how God came to be with us. And God came to be with us in the form of a human. He came as Jesus, right, to the earth. Okay, so in our Bible today, our memory verse this week is in John 3, 16. And the verse is, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. It's a pretty important Bible verse. I hope all of you will work on that this week with your families and try to memorize that one. Um, okay, so today our story is about um, how God sent his son Jesus. But before he sent Jesus, God sent a man named John. To share the message that Jesus was coming. So John was super duper excited about the message that he had to share. That was a pretty big message, right? So he was so excited. He might have been feeling something like this. Ooh. Okay, friends, he was bursting with excitement to tell that message to everyone. You might feel like that too. If you have something really important that you wanna tell someone, you're jumping up and down, you just can't wait to tell it, you're bursting with excitement. That's how John felt. He was so excited to tell that message to everyone that Jesus, the Messiah, was coming. Messiah is means a special person that God said he would send to be with us. So that special person was Jesus, right? He's the Messiah. Okay, so the Bible says that John walked all over the place sharing that big message that Jesus was coming. At first, some people were asking John, are you the Messiah? Are you a special person? Who are you? They didn't really understand. But John was saying, I'm just a messenger. I'm here to tell you that God is coming to be with us. He's coming. He's, Jesus is going to be with us. So a lot of people called John, John the Baptist, because he was getting people ready for Jesus, the Messiah, by baptizing them in a river. So John baptized people in the river by dunking them under the water and then bringing them back up again. When someone is baptized, that means that they can have a fresh start. Their sins are washed away and they're ready to live their life as, with Jesus as their Savior. So baptism is something that we do at Grace Point as well. So some of you might remember during the summertime when we had a baptism at the beach service over at Allen Creek. You might have come with your families. And you might remember hearing people um, standing up and telling their stories about how Jesus has changed their life and how they've accepted Jesus as their Savior. And then they would go out into the water at Allen Creek and be dipped under the water and brought back up again. So that's called baptism. You might also remember that two of our GP kids got baptized this summer as well. So being baptized is a really wonderful step in your faith journey when you're ready to do that. And if that's something that you want more information about, you can talk to your parents about it, or you can talk to Miss Pam and they'll get you the information you need for that. Okay, all right, back to our story. So John was continuing to baptize people and spreading the exciting message that God came to be with us. Then John saw Jesus coming and he knew that it was Jesus, the Messiah, because God had told John that a white bird would land on the Messiah's shoulder. And that's exactly what happened. The white bird landed on Jesus because Jesus is the Messiah. So John told everyone the special message that, the, that Jesus came to earth to be with us. Did you know, friends, that even though 
we can't see him. God is with us all the time. He's not just with us when we're here at church on Sundays. He's with you right now at your house. He's with you when you're at school, when you're at the park, when you're with your friends. He's with you no matter where you go. So I hope that you remember that this week while we're away from each other. Okay, friends, that's our story this week. I want you to remember to visit the Grace Point website. Um, you'll see this week's take-home page that has our memory verse on it. It has some discussion questions and a coloring page that you can do this week while you're at home. I miss all of you so much. I hope that we'll get to be back together again soon. See you later. Bye.